Hello, welcome back. And uh, here we are, eh, Ben? Alessandro. And we are playing with Open R and the R mm -hmm. with Collection. And uh, yes, last time we um, looked at how to transform a collection into another and did some uh, how we uh, use it to do animations and cool stuff. Uh, and we asked ourselves, and I asked Dave in the mm -hmm. last episode, if lists are can be immutable. I mean, they are, uh, Im sorry, if they can be mutable. They are immutable. Do, does Kotlin allows us to have, uh, to add elements to a list, for instance? Right, so we have this list of um, circles here. It's called call and call to. Maybe should we rename them? <laughs> mm, yeah, let's rename them. I'll call it circles and rects. Mm -hmm. So it's a bit more meaningful. And what if we want to add circles or rects to these uh, collections? Mm -hmm. So we have to change the type. And instead of being a list, it's going to be a mutable list. Mm -hmm. That's the only change. So now we are allowed to add new elements to mm -hmm. this list. Mm -hmm. What about this one? Is, uh, this one is not mutable. Even if we, we had a mutable list, mm -hmm. we mapped. But what map index returns yeah. a list. Right. So... I think one, I don't know if this is the only approach. I know that I can say to mutable. To mutable? Yeah, that's what I usually do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now both of the lists are mutable. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yes. And what we could do is maybe if we click the mouse, then we yeah. are adding. Yeah. So like, I mean, if you think about what are the situation where uh, you yeah. need to add stuff, uh, a common one is where you have interaction and you don't know at the beginning the number of objects right. you're going to deal with. So. And yeah, so... Maybe we can quickly go into why do we need sometimes mutable. That's an example you just gave yes. to add. Yes, but there's the other, other situation reasons. is where you want to basically have your uh, the objects, your geometrical objects or whatever type of things you are playing with to have a lifespan, maybe. Mm. Uh, you have to have, imagine to have uh, living things that have uh, a lifespan and at a certain point they are uh, uh, removed from the... Uh, objects you want to play with, right. and in that case, you may want a mutable list. Right. So adding, removing, and one last option is to change them. So maybe you exactly. want to re replace one element by a different element. Mm -hmm. Because the one point of uh, immutability of lists it, is that you cannot uh, change the elements that are uh, at a given index position, for instance. Mm -hmm. That's something that mut mutable lists allow you, okay. you to do. Cool. So how do we add some interaction? It's mm -hmm. very simple. We didn't so, go into the details of open R and R, but mm -hmm. the extend function is run by default 60 times per second. Mm -hmm. And after it, I can add like a mouse uh, mm -hmm. button down uh, listen. Mm -hmm. So this is a function, these curly brackets. This mm -hmm. is something that's going to be executed every time I click. Mm -hmm. And this is when we want to add an object to, mm -hmm. for example, circles. Mm -hmm. And it's just circles add. Let's add it at the position of the click. Right. Mm -hmm. It's expecting an element, which is a circle. So here mm -hmm. we create a circle and it's located at it position. What is it? Mm -hmm. It is the mm -hmm. mouse event. Mm -hmm. And now we are missing a radius. So I don't know, we can ask that a fixed one for now. Mm -hmm. And let's also give it a random color. That's tricky. That's tricky. Oh, <laughs> right. Why? Because the circle doesn't have a color. Yes, that's correct. The circle is just a geometrical, mathematical circle. Yes. It has no color knowledge. Yes, yes. So we can do that later. Mm -hmm. But for now, mm -hmm. uh, we save the program. And now, in theory, I can click. <laughs> and it's cool because they are still animated. Mm -hmm. Why are they animated? They are animated because we are animating, we are iterating over the list that now is mutable, and any new object that of this type uh, circle that we add to the list will, let me say, they will receive the same treatment as all the other. <laughs> right. <laughs> There's no difference between the circles, and exactly. we are drawing all of our circles yeah. uh, in an, with an animated uh, radius. Exactly, yes. Um, one thing you can, if you paid a lot of attention, you can see that now the two lists are different size. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like we have more circles than, than rectangles. Exactly. And uh, how do we 
get them at the same size now let's let's also create a rectangle at, at uh, the center yeah just for you know consistency like right it's art after all so we are <laughs> after <laughs> so we can add rec dot add and here we're gonna add a rectangle yes i will use the same approach as before like from center mm -hmm. and it position so mm -hmm. oh, not description but position mm -hmm. and we need a radius uh mm -hmm. what should we add here um 10 mm -hmm. and just to show it seems to be uh if, if i don't specify the height i think it's assumed to be the same as the width mm -hmm. so it's a mm -hmm. rectangle it's again an overloaded type of so now that i saved mm -hmm. we lost uh, our items or extra mm -hmm. items because the program was restarted mm -hmm. and when the program restarts then it recreates all the exact original ones but not the ones we mm -hmm. added very nice there we okay. have so now i think that something we we can uh, we can uh, we can do is um we could Imagine that we want circles to be added to the list of the circles that we had, mm -hmm. and uh, they start um, with a given radius. We want to remove them when their radius becomes below a certain amount. Mm -hmm. Okay. Of course, this treatment will uh, affect the whole list. Yeah. So I think now we have the seen how to add things to a mutable list. Yeah. Now we want maybe to remove okay. things. I think I could uh, start by removing maybe the initial elements mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. then we can just make it purely interactive. Exactly. Yes. So we just click to add things. Yes. But we don't have anything at the beginning. Exactly. So what do we need? Most probably we need an empty yeah, mutable it's list. It's right? actually super simple because mm -hmm. we only need to delete here the the content. So we have our we no. need twenty five. Yes. You're right. We have to change a bit. Yes. <laughs> it's mutable list of uh, circle and we don't specify exactly a size. exactly and we don't need the parentheses mm -hmm. and we don't need we do the same with the uh, we don't need oh what do we need ah yeah like this sorry yeah. parentheses yes mutable list of circle and this block here is going to be exactly the same mutable mm -hmm. list of but in this case, rectangle. Mm -hmm. So now these lists will only accept circles and rectangles and uh, and uh, like we, we will have an error yes. if we pass we, anything else. Or well, we broke something. Uh, we I don't broke know something. <laughs> what it is. I'm going to just start, try to stop and start the mm -hmm. program again, see if that solves it. Otherwise, we're missing I, something. I think that uh, the ID is saying something here. Right. Um, what's the error? Rectangle mm. from center. Oh, wait. No, um, you don't. Have, you have rect, not rectangle. Ah. You see? Rectangle. Girl. And let's see if it stops. If it stops complaining. Save, run. And then we have our program yes, back. Exactly. So now we start with a clear canvas and mm -hmm. uh, we can click on different mm -hmm. places. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now instead of wobbly circles, we want them to start big, maybe, and yes, they shrink and until they disappear. Yes. Which is something that in interaction you find all yeah. the time, right? You can imagine some surface on which you click and you have these little waves that you want to see slowly mm -hmm. disappear. Okay. So how do we do that? We want to reduce the... So we want to mutate those circles. Mm -hmm. um, so let me see. We can uh, mutate those... Of circles maybe first we we don't need this wobbly animation anymore yes yes we just want to draw the circle as it is yes so i'm gonna use the same approach as under like drawer mm -hmm. dot circles circles mm -hmm. and so now we got rid of the animation mm -hmm. and we have the elements we click there mm -hmm. next step is to make them shrink with time mm -hmm. We can mutate them. So how do we do that? Um, should we iterate with the index, mm -hmm. the typical for loop? Yes. Or? Yes. So we can see how a for loop looks like in Kotlin. Uh, this should, you know, 
be familiar to everybody that has done any coding in their life. There is a little bit of a high candy here because it's not high candy. I have to say uh, the fact that it until what does until mean right. here? Some things. So for one thing, we are not declaring here var or val. It's not necessary. So we just declare the name of the variable. Mm -hmm. Then in a range. And the mm -hmm. range goes from zero <clears throat> until the size. Mm -hmm. Which means there's up to one below mm -hmm. the size. Otherwise, we are facing uh, array right. out of index. The, that horrible message, probably. That's what's going to happen. Right? Maybe we can say it again. <laughs> yeah. No, I was saying that uh, if you include the last index in mm. any right, right. collection, it because will Because the last element is, mm -hmm. has an index of size mm -hmm. minus one. Okay. So now we could modify those elements. We could say circles i mm -hmm. is equal to a new circle. Mm -hmm. So we yeah recreate a circle maybe. Or, yeah, a new circle. We can make a copy mm -hmm. and with a radius that is a little bit mm, below the original. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, radius minus five, for example. Mm -hmm. It's going to be quick, minus five, no? Right, right. Yeah, minus so, one. yeah, probably even 0 0.1 if we want a smooth animation. Rad, I think. <laughs> and I have to... See, it's expecting here the center. We want yeah. actually to. Mm -hmm. We want to declare here that we we are, want to change yeah, the radius. Exactly. This is something cool in Kotlin that you can specify the names of the mm -hmm. parameters. So I'm making a copy, but I'm skipping the position mm -hmm. because I don't want to change the position. I only mm -hmm. want to. This is technically a deep copy. That one, I mean, one in computer, uh, you know, in programming language, we are making a deep copy of an object, mm -hmm. but subject to the fact that radius will have a new value. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, now, if we run this, we will have a circle that shrinks, mm -hmm. but there is no end to the shrinking. Mm -hmm. So basically, uh, there is no, there is no end, and look at what it's doing. Like it went to a negative sign, mm -hmm. and then it becomes. I mean, it is interpreted <laughs> as a positive right. radius, and now the circle will grow uh, again. I mm -hmm. think these points. Uh, I mean, this uh, makes me think about uh, um, uh, somehow when things are not visible. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that they are not there. <laughs> there is a difference, you know, it, there is a difference, almost philosoph a philosophical difference between not being visible yeah. and not being there. Yeah. So now what we are trying to achieve is to make sure that they are not there. <laughs> not only they are not visible. True. Okay. So how can we delete an element from, an collect from a collection? How about uh, we talk about filter? Okay. Um, with filter, yeah, we can make a sub uh, list. Ah, true. I didn't think about that. Mm -hmm. I didn't but think now of... we will run, I think, into uh, something that uh, uh, we don't, don't. I mean, we have declared circles as a val. Right. So now we cannot uh, overwrite the col the mutable list itself. Mm -hmm. the, we cannot change the box that contains all these geometric objects. But, but if, maybe if we, we make this change, exactly, then it becomes very easy. Yeah, but then we have to talk about filter. What is this filter? We have not talked about with it. filter. We drop some of the elements mm -hmm. on the on the collection upon and a given condition. Yeah, right? we specify mm -hmm. how. Mm -hmm. So we can say that circles is equal to circles dot filter, and then here we say what is the condition and mm -hmm. the condition. To keep the circle is that the radius mm -hmm. is larger than some amount, for example, 1.0. Uh, yes. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Why doesn't it like... Mutable. Ah, it's found. Ah, because we are creating a list which is mm -hmm. not mutable. But so then we, we can you have to make this into... So Exactly. Let's see if it works. How can we know if these circles are really not there at this point? My throat is very itchy. Mm -hmm. <coughs> right. Uh, how can we can print somehow mm -hmm. the amount? Exactly. 
Um, so we, if we print, okay, we can do two things. We either write text on the screen or mm -hmm. we print. If we print mm -hmm. to the console, then we're going to have tons of messages. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we can do that for now, mm -hmm. which is very easy. Mm -hmm. Print and uh, circles, circles dot size. Mm -hmm. And this is going to print lots of zeros. Mm -hmm. And if I mm -hmm. make, oh, <laughs> I click three times on the same place, but now we have three, two, one, Super. zero. Super. So they are disappearing. Mm -hmm. And so we have found, we have uh, uh, basically made a mechanism to uh, introduce the possibility of creating and removing uh, mm -hmm. things. And we have also learned that to do this, we need to make the list, the mutable lists we're dealing with as a var rather than a val. So I, I wonder, I'm trying to think if there's some method to remove under mm -hmm. a certain condition. So re mm -hmm. circles don't remove. There, you can remove an element at a certain position. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Remove first, that or remove if. Mm -hmm. And I think we should do remove if. Which I think back uh, in on the on the hood does probably a filter. Yeah, thing, but then right? we don't have to have a var exactly. circles. Mm -hmm. Remove if, and then we would have this mm -hmm. same. Actually, the condition would be the opposite. Mm -hmm. We, can, we want to remove, remove if it's below one. Less equal than one. Or, uh, it's, it's okay. I mean, yeah. it's just that the, the condition, the yeah. correct condition is less yeah, yeah. than equal. Yeah. yeah. So in that case, now you can see it's highlighting this because we are no longer mm, we don't need it. modifying mm -hmm. the box that contains all mm -hmm. of our, our circles. circles. So... Uh, and this is also kind of clean, cleaner, no? Like mm -hmm. Easier to understand. Remove mm -hmm. if the circle is too small. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it gave us the possibility to introduce filtering. Yeah. That <laughs> is uh, a super interesting. Yeah. I use uh, filter in other situations. Like sometimes, for example, you want to generate a big set of elements mm -hmm. and then maybe remove part of them uh, with a certain condition. Mm -hmm. For example, I don't know, uh, like. For example, if you have a lot of points on the screen and you want to remove the mm -hmm. points depending on a noise map, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you're removing some of them, or some areas are more yes. probable, some areas yeah. are less probable. Yeah. I, I think I use this also to, to do things like uh, um, generate points and uh, remove a new point that is inserted if it is below a certain distance from its close neighbor. Uh -huh. So not to have... Uh, new points end up yeah. in a this you know in a radius mm -hmm. from the new one. Yeah. You can uh, add and then remove those. Right. Uh, but good. I think yeah. we can uh, stop here with the filtering, uh, and, uh, and we leave as an exercise to think a bit about what about the squares. <laughs> what about the squares? <laughs> because we actually, didn't remove them. Because we did not remove them. Where yeah. are the squares? <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> See you in the next one.